Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your bar workout. What you're going to need today is something to brace yourself with, like a sturdy chair, a kitchen countertop, or a wall. We're also going to need a light set of dumbbells, three to five pounds. You get to choose. You can always grab water bottles in each hand. You will need a mat for later in class. I like to do the whole workout on the mat. That's optional as well. And then you're going to need a mini band for the very end of class. I'm talking the last five minutes for actual ab work with a mini band. Hmm, what are we gonna do? So if you don't have a mini band, don't worry about it because you can do it without the mini band and it's still gonna be challenging. Again, that's at the end. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, before we begin your warm up, let's just concentrate on the breath. So inhale, fill up the entire rib cage, forward, sides, and back. Big diaphragmatic inhale, then as you exhale, let's engage the TVA by drawing your deep belly button up and in. Do that one more time. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, lift, hug it in. When I say engage the TVA, that's what I mean. All right, shoulders down and away from the ears, neutral pelvis, neutral spine, toes are forward, external rotation of the hips. Go out, bring it in, out, bring it in. Arms go in front. Add the arms, upper back, big squeeze, rear delts, going around that beach ball, squeeze it on the way back, getting those hips, those shoulders, and especially your upper back nice and warm and ready. Try to keep the belly completely still, so no thrusting forward. We have eight more. Here's your last four and three. We go to calf raises, two, hold the arms, add the heels. It's up, lower down, big squeeze of those calves. Bring the arms overhead, add the lat pull downs. It's up, squeeze it, squeeze those lat muscles right here, located on the back, squeeze them down, pull it down. Elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Keep that belly nice and quiet, good. Shoulders down and away from the ears, even as we reach it tall. We have eight, seven, six, five more. And four, we go to some mini first plies. Last two, last one, now take it. Down and lift, down, drive through the heels. Down, lift it up. Nice. We even feel the pelvic floor do some work, which is a part of your core. So we want to keep the pelvic floor nice and strong. Little, down and up. Down, bring it up. Bring the arms out to the side. Add the over unders. It's over under. Nice work, eight more, and seven. We'll take it to a second plie, four more, three, and two. We hold bottom, a last one hold. Left hand goes to the hip, right arm goes out in front. It's one, two, three, four. Wide, lower, press, return. Wide, lower, press, return. Use the inner thighs right here. Nice, keeping that ankle nice and dorsiflex. Inhale, exhale to squeeze, nice. Last one, hold second plie, just little pulses. Little mini pulses, bring the hands behind the head, hold the pulse, add the obliques down, lift. Other side, lift. Shortening the space in between the rib cage and the hip bone. Big stretch, big contraction. One side stretches, one side does the work. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower, lift. Eight more just like this. It's eight, seven, six, Five more, you got it, come on, four, three, two, one, hands go up, it's in, return, other side, still hitting those obliques, 
but bringing it to a standing variation. Exhale as we contract. Now you can stay with this tempo or we're picking it up. It's in. Big circles, semi-circles with the hands. In and crunch. In and crunch. We have eight, six, four, three, two. Back to first position, heels in, toes out. Just little pulses down. Hands go out to the side, palms face down. Now take it full length, down, lift. Down, lift, add the rotation. Make sure we have that neutral spine. So I'll show you what that means. A lot of the times we'll have that lordotic spine. So we just gotta fix that. If we have a lordotic spine, I do, we really have to concentrate on keeping it nice and neutral to limit any back pain. So if you've ever had any back pain during exercise, I highly recommend just to be aware of that lower back. What is it doing? Where are you feeling this? We should be feeling this in the quads, hamstrings, glutes, and shoulders. Nice work. Keep breathing, shoulders down. Nice, we have eight, seven, and six. We do the same thing on the other side. Last four, three, two. Nice work, hand on the hip, left arm goes in front. It's out, then in. Wide, lower, up, return. Wide, lower, up, squeeze that inner thigh, nice. Press through the heel, squeeze. You've got it, four more. Here's your last three. Squeeze, last two. Last one, hold. Second plie, just little pulses down. We're going back to those obliques, I love it. Okay, hands go behind the head, keep a neutral spine. We're working the sides of the waistline. Hold the pulses, it's right, center, left. Let's go right and left. One side is stretching, one side does the work, nice. Look down at your knees right now. Make sure they're not caving in, we're pressing them back. We can always reduce the range of motion. Maybe we're up here. That's a modification, you got it. Eight more like this, it's eight, seven, and six. We go to a standing position and we do the same thing, but lift the arms and the knees. Two more. Bring it up, let's go right. Center, left, center, right. Oblique as we crunch. Little crunch in, nice work, crunch in. All right, in a few moments, we're gonna get those heart rates up. This will conclude your warm up. You can always stay with this tempo, but if we can, we're picking up the pace. In three, two, one, let's go. It's right, left. Stay here, come on. Big exhale as we crunch. A little roundness of the upper spine as we bring it in. Mini crunch. Let's get those abs working, you got it. 16 more. Here's your last. Eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, inhale, arms reach up. And as we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Nice work. Let's take a nice little lateral lunge, opening up the hips. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, let's switch sides. Shoulder blade draws open. Reach those left fingertips towards the right side of the room. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, bring it up, heel toe, the feet back together. All right, grab your weights. Meet me back on the mat. All right, you have one weight in each hand. Remember, three to five pounds, and if this feels like too much at any point, reduce the resistance by releasing the weight. Do body weight. You can even grab one water bottle in each hand. This is gonna be challenging, 
fair warning, we're coming back to that lateral lunge. So stance is wide, heels in, toes out. We hinge from the right knee. Now keep the knee behind the toes. Bring the arms up, supinated grip. We reach the left arm up and over, pressing it up overhead, big stretch along the left side. Then we return to center. All right, we're just doing that for eight. We'll go nice and slow. So it's hinge, bring it up, hinge, bring it up, rotate the palms. Supinated to neutral. Big reach. Drive through the heel. We have four. Press it up. Nice work. Three. Press it up. Two more slow. Press it up. Last one slow. And then we're increasing the tempo. If we can, let's go. It's eight. Seven. Six. You got it. Here's your last four. Three. Two, one, hold here. Bring both weights into the right hand. We're anchoring this right elbow to your inner thigh. A concentrated curls. We squeeze it up, control it down. We squeeze it up, control it down. Big squeeze of those biceps. Big squeeze. Let's pick up that tempo. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Nice work. Big squeeze at the top. Those biceps are strong. It can handle this load. We have eight more. It's eight, seven, six, five, last four, and three. We hold, two, hold here. Switch the weights into the left hand, both weights into the left. Quarter turn to the left, hinge forward, palms go down. We bring it to that high row, elbow flares out to the side, big squeeze of the upper back, then we return to center. Let's go, tempo, up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Elbow out to the side, squeeze that upper back. Neutral spine, you got it. Keep your gaze focused. You know what to do. Eight more, it's eight, seven, Six, we're working our core too with this unilateral movement. Last two, now hold it up, little pulses. Three, two, one, lower down. Three, two, one, lower down again. Three, two, one, and lower. Keep this up, four more. Three, two, one, lower down again. Core is tight, last two, last one. Just hold it up, bring one weight into the right hand. We're kicking it back, we're feeling it in the triceps. This is gonna be fun. We're keeping the right arm put, iso hold, left arm moves, tricep kickbacks in, go out. Press it out, holding the right, moving the left. Last one, now switch it to the right. Last four, and three, both arms go. Two, one, bilateral movement, both arms. I know that standing leg is on fire, keep it strong. Out, bring it in. Four more, it's four. And three, we hold and pulse, two, Hold it back, little pulses. Three, two, one, bring it in. Three, two, one, bring it in again. Three, two, one, three, two, one, a few more. Three, two, one, hips are square, you got it. Here's your last two, last one. Nice work, take a quarter turn to the left. Just pulse that second plie variation. All right, this right leg, it's on fire. Left leg, not so much. We're gonna even it out, but first we'll give <laughs> our legs a little break. Just hold it to a little mini uh, variation of this second position. Hammer curl it up and down, big squeeze, big squeeze. This feels a little bit easier because our biceps are a pretty strong muscle group. That's why I'm challenging you today 
with two weights for back and biceps. You got it. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. This is your recovery before we go to the other side. Big squeeze, lower down. Four more, it's four. And three, we lateral lunge, we'll take it slow to start. Last one, now hold. Bring that left knee out, feel a nice stretch along the right leg, engagement in the left, then we press it up. So it's bend, straight and add the right arm, reach it and lower. Bring it in, supinated grip, neutral grip. Lengthen, press, return. Lengthen, press, return. Three more, and then we pick up that tempo. Control it, two more. Last one. Return, tempo eight. It's eight, seven, six, Five, left knee's going out, not in. Last two, last one and hold. Bring both weights into the left hand. Anchor this left elbow against the left leg, either quad or inner thigh, depending on your range of motion. We can always bring that right foot in. Squeeze it up and down, big squeeze. Control it down, concentrated bicep curls. Slow on the eccentric. Slow and steady. Big squeeze. Slow and steady tempo. Go up and lower. Up and lower. Keep that breath. Here's your last set of eight. You got it. Eight, seven, six. Come on, five more. You got it. We have four. Three, two, one. Both weights into the right hand as we quarter turn to the left. Upper body is forward, hinge forward, palm faces you. Elbow goes high and wide. Big squeeze the upper back as we do this high row, then control it down. So it's up and squeeze, control it down. Up and squeeze, control it down. Up and squeeze, control it down again. Up and squeeze. Control it down now, tempo. Up, lower down. Up, lower down, you got it. You're looking a couple feet in front of your own. Nice long spine. Core engaged, square off the hips. Here's your last four. And through we pulse. Two. Hold it up, little pulses. Three, two. One, lower down. Three, two, one, lower down. Three, two, one, and lower. You got it. Big deep inhale, fill in the rib cage. Exhale, draw that deep belly button up and in. Three more. Two more. You got it. Three, two, one, lower down. Last one. Three, two, hold it up. Grab one of those weights in the left arm. Elbows in tight. Lead with the pinky, big stretch along the triceps. Hold the arms, right arm goes in and out only for eight. Iso hold with the left. Right arm's moving, left arm is burning. We have four and three, we switch. Two, one, hold the right, left arm goes in and out. You got it, come on, stay strong. I know that left leg's on fire, we have four. Three, two, both arms bilateral in, press it out. Big squeeze of the triceps as we extend. Nice work, you got it, come on. Are you ready? We're gonna add those pulses. In three, two, one, we go. Pulse, 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 bring it in. Pulse, 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 bring it in. Six more, no bouncing. Stay strong, come on, we have four, three, last two. Here's your last one. 
take a quarter turn to the right, little pulses down, mini pulses. Take it about a quarter of the way down and press through the heels, hammer curl it, alternate this time, up and lower. Whew. Four more, and three we go bilateral, where that just means both arms. Let's go, both arms with those little pulses. We have four more, and three we get into shoulders, finally two. Hold it up, hold it up. We're going to some L raises. So left arm goes forward, pronated grip. Right arm goes to the side, pronated grip. Front raise with the left, lateral raise with the right. We bring it down, then we switch. Right arm front raise, left arm lateral. Let's go. L raises. Control it. Control it. If you need to, stand it up, shake it out. If you want to challenge. We're in that mini. I mean, this is not my full range of motion. This is. We're just right here. We're just right here. We got it together. We're in this together. Come on. Fill up that rib cage as we inhale. Exhale, draw that deep belly button up and in. Engage the TBA. Heavy in those heels. Knees are pressing out slightly. Control it. No swinging, no bouncing. How are you feeling today? So if you don't know by now, I love working shoulders, glutes, and hamstrings. And actually today I'm adding uh, more back and bice, a lot of back today compared to the shoulders that I usually throw in. And we're gonna be hitting the quads and calves a little bit more than usual as well. A few more like this, and then we're gonna pick up the tempo, add the hammer curl with it. Last one, let's go. Hammer curl, lift, lower. Hammer curl, lift, lower. One curl, lift, lower. Curl and squeeze, lift and lower. Curl and squeeze, lift and lower. Almost giving those shoulders a little bit of a break, but we're strengthening those biceps. Hammer curl, L shape. Hammer curl, shoulder level. Last one. Hold it here, bring it forward, front raises, up and down. Up and down, getting a little burnout before we move on to something new. We have four and three, we hold two. One, now hold it up, little presses out, out. As we press, heel toe the feet back into first position. Nice, heels in, toes out. Bring it lower, bring it lower, nice. Little diamond shape in between the legs, heavy in the heels. We have eight, six, four, three, two. Now we hold, bring it wide, flip the grip. It's neutral, so we're going around that beach ball. Think of this as a standing chest fly as we squeeze the chest and we squeeze the front of the shoulders and then rear delt, squeeze the upper back, keep the belly out of it so it's in. Little crunch as we go in, little roundness of the upper spine, work in that chest fly. So what we don't want and what I see all the time is that, uh-uh, that's gonna hurt your low back. Let's stay nice and safe. Elbows up, I know it's burning. Stay with me, come on. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, flip the grip overhead with the first plie. Little quarter circles as we press it up and down. Control it, control it. Shoulders down and away, don't let those traps go up. You're doing great. Last two, hold it down, curl it in. Big squeeze, big 
squeeze. Big squeeze, come on. Keep that breath steady. Stay with me, you can do this. We have eight, seven, six, five, then those dumbbells go down four, three, two, one, nice work, bring it down. We're lowering that plie. We bring it all the way up, full semicircles with the arms. Then we lower down, tempo. It's up, lower down. Control it. We have eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, and we hit those triceps. Last four, three, two, hold it up. Now we're not pressing those dumbbells together this time. I want you to keep them apart. So we hinge at the elbows, feeling a nice stretch along the triceps, then we're kicking it back up. Legs are out of it right now. So it's down and lift, Ooh. down and lift, down and lift, down. At the calf races with it, down, heels go up, down. This is a lot more challenging, keeping space in between the dumbbells, isn't it? Bring it up, now tempo for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it here, just the right for eight. <sighs> Holding the left, right arm is moving and grooving. Come on, four more. It's four, three, two. Hold the right, switch it to the left. Four more, then both arms. Three, two, one, both arms, bilateral. Come on, I know it's burning. Elbows in tight. Neutral spine, engage the core. We have eight, seven, six, five. Come on, last four. Three, two, one, and hold. Bring it to the side, lower down. We're hinging all the way forward now. Keep a nice narrow stance, good posture. Here's what we have, a low row, elbows hugging tight, we squeeze the upper back, this is gonna be fun. From here, we extend the arms like we're going into that rear delt fly, and then bring it down. So it's low row, extend the arms, upper back, control it on the way down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two three, four. Keep this tempo. Big squeeze. Control it down. Big squeeze. Control it down. The slower we go on that eccentric phase, the more challenging it is. Row, delts, bring it down. Row, bring it down, nice work. Low row, rear delts, control it down. Row, rear delts, control it down. You know what to do now. Listen to me, listen to my voice, don't look up. You're looking at the ground. Row, fly, bring it down. Row, fly, bring it down. Now in a few moments, we're just doing the rear delt flies. We'll get rid of the row. We have four more like this. It's four, lower down. Three, lower down. Two more. Row it, bring it down. Last one. Just the rear delt fly. We go around that beach ball, 45 degree angle with the arms. Slight bend in the elbow. Squeeze the upper back. Big squeeze, big squeeze. It's burning. This is, this is where the fun begins. We're gonna keep going. Up and squeeze, control. Up and squeeze, control. 
In a few moments, we're gonna take it to pulses or partials, whatever you wanna call it. It'll be halfway up and then all the way down. But we have eight more. Full range of motion right now. Here's your last four and three. We pulse two, halfway up, all the way down. It's up, lower down, up, lower down. Big squeeze, pause on that squeeze. Pause on the squeeze, pause on the squeeze. Now, if we can, we're going to increase the tempo. True bar, bar pulses, let's go out, out, out. Shorten the range of motion, little pulses. Halfway up, halfway down. Couple inches. Stay with me, come on. We have eight and six, we go to full range of motion. Four, three, two, full range of motion, down. Bring it out, down, bring it out. We have four more. And three, we go back to those partials, two, one little partials all the way down, halfway up, halfway up. Ooh, it's burning. We're gonna fight for it. Come on, keep the tempo. In a few moments, true pulses. Six inch range of motion. Lift up, down, lift up. Here we go, here's our burnout. In three, two, hold and pulse. No bouncing with that body. Control it. I know your arms are on fire. Keep going. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Lift the arms straight. We're sinking it in that chair. Just hold. Heavy in the heels, knees behind the toes. Sink it one inch lower. Make sure we don't have that lordotic spine. Neutral low back. We have eight, seven, and six. We're done. Four, three, two, and release. Nice work. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Let's put those weights down and stretch it out just a little bit more. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Give yourself a hug in. Left ear reaches towards the traps. Oh, nice little stretch along the right trap. Let's switch side. So if ever you find yourself, your traps are, are taken over when we do those shoulder exercises, a, reduce the range of motion. It just doesn't mean bringing it all the way up and down. That's one. Or lighten the weight. So it bars for me. Light weight. High volume. Oh. All right. Take the hands behind the small of the back. Inhale, open up the chest. And as we exhale, hinge forward. Hinge, hinge, hinge. And let the arms just come with it. Big stretch along the spine, along the chest, along the shoulders, the back, the hamstrings. Release the thumbs to the small of the back. Let the arms hang nice and heavy. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Little gentle sway side to side. Yeses and nose with the head. Release any tension in the neck. Bring all swaying to a complete stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Reverse swan dive it up. Little back bend by looking up at the hands. And exhale, hands to heart. All right, we're coming to your chair now. If you don't have a chair, you can use a wall. You can use a countertop. Find whatever word. All right, let's begin with that nice, deep inhalation and exhalation. So inhale, fill up the entire rib cage. As we exhale, shoulders down. Activate the TVA. Right foot goes out to the side. Now we're keeping the left knee behind that big toe. So it's a, it's a slight, small hinge, hinging from the hips, hinging from the knees. I'm feeling tension in my quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Right foot out to the side, and then we bring it back in. Keep that slight bend in the left knee. So it's six inches out, six inches in. Six inches out, six inches in. Out, then in. Out, then in out, then in, small slides, small slides, eight more like this, it's eight, hinge it back, protect those knees, but this hits the quads, that's why I like them, come on, four and more, it's four, concentrate, three, two, hold it out, semi-circles, quarter circles, 12 to three, 12 to three. Core is nice and tight. Left leg's on fire. Come on, eight more. It's eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg. We lift it up, lower down. Lift and lower. Abducting, keep a slight bend in this left leg. Squeeze the outer glute, big squeeze. Big squeeze. Straight to the side. We have eight more. It's eight, seven, six, and five. We hold impulse. Four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, and six. We hold. Four, three, two. Now hold. Next up, we're taking it back. 45 degree angle. So right now, we're looking at a three o'clock position. Coming up somewhere, somewhere in between four to five. Different part of the glute. Hitting more. Gosh, I hate to call it this, but a lot of people will refer to it as satchel bags. I like to call it outer thighs, outer glutes. So let's take it to that 45 degree angle. And three, two, one. It's back. Go out. Go out. So if you don't know whether your outer glutes and outer thighs are working, place your hand on that muscle group. On the way up right here, it should firm up. Ooh, the arms. 45 degree arms, 45 degree legs. Neutral back. Eight more. Seven. Standing legs on fire. Two. We have four. And three. We hold impulse. Two. One, now little pulses up for eight, seven, and six. We hold, I'm shaking. Four, three, two, now we hold. Eight count hold, then we combine. Straight leg abductions to 45 degree. Let's go, it's in, out, 45. In, out, 45. Ooh, ooh. come on, stay strong. And that standing glute is on fire, I know. Four more. We have three, two more. Last one, bring it to that curtsy lunge. Adjust the feet accordingly. All right, heels in, toes out with the front leg on the bottom out of the foot on the back. Slight external rotation of the hips. Diamond shaped position in between the legs. We're just pulsing it out, getting used to this new position. Arm goes out in front. We have one curtsy lunge to one leg out abduction. So we're still gonna squeeze the outer glute on the way out. And as we do that, we're adding the rear delt with it. Let's go. So it's down to the side, to the side. Curtsy lunge to the side. Nice. Bring it back and down. Chest is lifted, core engaged. Eight more. It's eight, seven. Six, five more, you got it, come on. Four, three, two, oh, one. Pulse for three, it's three, two, oh, one. Bring it back, three, two, oh, one. Bring it back and squeeze, three, two, oh, one. Bring it back, three, two, oh, one. Four more like this, it's three, two, oh, one. Squeeze. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Nice work. Last one. Hold it here. Bring the left hand off of the chair. You got this. Find stability. Find that strength. We bring just the arms out, then in. Bring it in. Squeeze the upper back. Squeeze the chest on the way in. Going around that beach ball. You got it. Come on. We have eight more. It's eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Reach the right arm up, right leg is long. We bring it to those side oblique crunches. Return to center. Eight slow. In, then out. In, then out. In, then out. Four more slow. Four, and three. We pick up the tempo. Two, Let's get those heart rates up. Come on, it's in, in. Control it, big squeeze. Sure, in the range of motion if we need to, in. Here's your last eight. And six, we hold. Four, 
three, two, now hold. Big squeeze of that right oblique, hold and squeeze, hold and squeeze. We have four, three, two, and release that right leg long. Big side body stretch. As we inhale, as we exhale, rotate towards the chair. Now don't pull up the chair, just hinge the body forward and just let the upper body rest, feeling a nice stretch along that right hamstring, left glute. All right, we're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna flip my chair. You can do the same, just so you can see my face and not my butt. So same thing on this side. Inhale, fill up that rib cage. As we exhale, shoulders down and away. Make sure the hips are level and square at all times. Hinge from this right knee, bring the left leg out to the side. So think of this as a little mini lunge, knee behind the big toe, hinging from the hips and the knees. Feeling it in the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings from here. We bring it six inches in, squeeze the inner thigh, and then bring it out. Very small range of motion. Let's go. In, lower down. You can drag the foot or the big toe, or you can pick it up. Pick it up, draw it in. Very small range of motion, but I'm feeling it in my right quad, right glute. I laugh when I burn, I'm sorry. Like either I cry or I laugh. It's the natural response, right? We have four and three, we hold. Two, hold it out, little quarter circles. So it's 12 to nine. 12 to nine, standing legs on fire. You got it. Now add the arm for eight, seven, six, five more. Big squeeze the upper back. Last two, last one, abduct, up and down. Up and down, slight bend in this right knee. Hitting the outer glute, outer thigh, big squeeze right here. Keep the spine nice and straight. So we're not tilting. This will actually work the core a little bit more and you should get better glute engagement this way. Four more than we hold in, pulse last four. Three, two, one little pulses up, little pulse, little pulse. And six, it's 45, four, Three, two, different angle, back and lift, back and lift, back and lift. Big squeeze right here. If you don't know if it's working, place the hand on it. You should feel it contract and firm. Four and more like this. You got it. Four, three, two, one little pulses up. Eight more like this. Then we combine the two. And four, three, two, abduct. It's straight to the side. 45. I know it's burning. Stay with me. You got it. We have four, three, two more. Last one. Nice work. We're bringing it into that curtsy lunge. Adjust the feet as needed. External rotation of the hips. Let's just start to pulse it. All right, one curtsy lunge, and then we step to the side. Keep the majority of the weight in the front leg. Let's go. It's down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Squeeze the upper back, down, lift. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, and five. We pulse, you got it, four. Three, two, hold it here, little pulses. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, squeeze the upper back. Nice work. And squeeze, tap. Three, two, one, squeeze and tap. Last four, bring it out. 
bring it out. Two more. Last one. Hold the legs, arms go in front, just the arms out, then in. Go around that beach ball, squeeze the upper back. You got it. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one. Bring the left arm, reach it up and over, obliques in, then lower, in, then lower. Big contraction, big squeeze, in, in. Let's pick up that tempo. It's in. Eight more like this. It's eight and six. We hold three, two, one. Now hold and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And nice work. Extend the left arm up and over. Big stretch along the side body. Inhale, exhale, rotate towards your chair. Get a nice little hamstring stretch. Big deep inhale as we exhale, roll it up. All right, now we're gonna get into some lunge. We're facing the bar now. We're gonna start with the right leg, bring it back. Hinge from the knees, bring it into that lunge. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, we bring it back eight like this. It's eight, seven, six, five more. And four, we're gonna progress. Three, two, one. Hands go up. Eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, two. Hold it here, three pulses. Three, two, one, and tap. Three, two, one, tap with the arms. Three, two, one, bring it in. Think of this as a little pulsing repeater. Nice, four more. Bring it in, three, two, one, drive it in, last two. Three, Two, one, slow repeaters. It's out, then in, out, then in. Now you can see what right here, we're about to progress to faster repeaters. Knees to the chest if we can. Last one, now pick it up. It's back and in, A little crunch. You can support yourself with the hand on the bar or you can do both hands. Eight more, it's eight, six, and then we pulse. Four, three, two, bring it down, little pulses down. And four, we hold. Three, two, now hold, left heel up, left heel down. Squeeze the calf. Four more like this, it's four, three, two. Hold the heel up, lunge it down and lift and lift knee behind the toes four more it's four three are you ready to progress you can always stay right here lift the hands six more here's your last four three two little pulses down it's three Two, one, drive it in, heel down, heel up. As we pulse, heel down as we go in. Bring it in, pulse, three, two, one, drive it in, heel up, heel down. Two more like this. Three, two, one, slow repeaters, it's back, heels down. Four more like this, and then you have the option to pick it up. And two, and one, pick it up. Out, in, knee in. You can leave one hand on the chair. 
for a little bit more support. But if you want to challenge, both hands in. Abs engage. Come on. We have eight, six, and then we pulse that lunge. Four, three, two. Now pulse that lunge. Go down. You got it. Four, three, two. Heel goes up. Continue the pulse. Four, three, two. Now hold. Heel down, heel up. You got it. Come on. Here's your last. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Little pulses. Eight, seven, and six. We're going to hold. Four, three, two. Now hold. Here's where we start to shake. Embrace the shake. Woo. All right, hands are staying on the bar. But if you want to challenge, focus the gaze. Right hand comes to the heart. Left hand comes to the heart. And arms reach overhead. Sink it one inch lower. <sighs> Knee behind the toes. It's burning. You're shaking. Come on, stay with me. One inch lower. <sighs> we have eight, six, four, three, two. Stepping in nice. Left heel goes in towards the glute. Give yourself a little quad stretch. We're doing the other side. Then we get to bring it to the mat. Ah, oh, nice work. Okay. We're going straight into the other side. We're grounding through this right foot, mainly in the heel. Step this left leg back, square off the hips, and bring it to that lunge. Make sure your knee is behind the second or third big toe. A light grip on the chair or whatever you have, wall, countertop, whatever we're using. Now hold this lunge. We step it in and out. It's in, then out, and out. Last four and three. If you want to progress, hands go up. Hands go up. Nice work. It's eight, seven, six. Drive through that heel. This is a little bit more challenging. You can always go back to the previous version. Last two. Hold it back. Little pulses. Three, two, oh, one. Drive it up. Three. Press it up. and drive. Three, two, oh, one. Press four more. Three. Press three. Last one like this. Three, two, one. Now repeaters. It's back. Bring it in. Bring it in. If you want, we're going to increase the intensity. Knee towards the chest. Pick up that tempo. It's back and in. You can keep one hand on the chair or both hands, a little crunch. Core engaged. Eight more like this. It's eight, six, four, three, two, back to the lunge, pulse it down. Three, two, now hold, heel goes up, heel goes down. Heel up, heel down. Heel up, heel down. Squeeze the calf. Squeeze the calf. Last two. Last one. Hold it up. It's down. Lift. Down and lift. Lift. Eight more like this. It's eight. Seven. You got it. Come on. Last four, three, light grip, two, three pulses. Then we go in three, two, oh, one, bring it in three, two, oh, one, heel down three, two, one, heel down, heel up as we pulse, heel down as we go in, heel up as we pulse, heel down in three, two, oh, one, bring it in two more. Three, two, one, bring it in. Three, two, one, bring it in. Now we hold. Arms go up, slow repeaters in and out. It's in, bring it out, in, bring it out, in, bring it out. Here we go. If you want to pick up the tempo, increase the range of motion. Let's go in and out, in and out, in and out. Big crunch, big squeeze. 
Let's get those heart rates up. We have eight, five, four, three, two, back to that lunge, go down. A little pulses. We hold the pulse, heel up and down. Lift the heel, then lower. Lift the heel, then lower. Big squeeze of the calf. Four more like this. It's four, three, two. Hold the heel up, pulse it down. Here's where we're gonna start to shake. Eight more like this. It's eight and six we hold. Four, three, two, now hold, arms go up. Hold here, hold and squeeze, challenge yourself. Pulse it out for eight. Eight, six, four, three, two, last hold. Eight, six, heel high. Four, three, two, release the heel down, step it in, nice work. Right heel goes in towards the glute, pull it on in. Big deep inhale. All right, as we transition to our mat work, you're going to need your light dumbbells again and meet me on your mat. Lay your band off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and grab your dumbbells, one in each hand. We're gonna bring it to some bridges. So heels drive in towards the glutes. From here, place those dumbbells very gently on the hips. Now you can always do this body weight. Slight posterior tilt of the pelvis. So press the low back into the mat. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, drive through the heels. Big squeeze of the glutes at the top. And then we bring it down. All right? Let's tempo and go. Up, lower down. So if you feel this in your low back, here's what I usually see. Lots of space in between the low back and the mat, and you have an anterior tilt in your pelvis if you're feeling any pain. Um, all you need to do, slight posterior tilt, so a slight tuck of the pelvis under, but it's very slight. This will allow better glute engagement. Also make sure the knees are not caving in on the way up, so drive the knees out, squeeze the glutes. Do up body weight as well if we need to. In three, we hold. Two, now we're holding this ISO bridge. Big squeeze of the glutes. Elbows go out to the side, about a 90 degree angle. We press those dumbbells up and then lower it down. 16, let's go. Drive it up. Drive it up. Eight more like this. It's eight. Keep those glutes high. Here's your last four and three. We go back to those bridges. Two, one, place the weights down. It's lower, a lift and squeeze, a lift and squeeze. Last one, hold it up, chest press, up and lower, 16. Holding that bridge. Eight more like this, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, one. Weights go back on the hip points. This time, shift the left foot towards the center of your mat. Keep about 80% of the weight in the left heel. Right heel, turn it into a kickstand. V stance bridges, let's go. Down, bring it up. 80% of the weight in the left heel. You can always stay with the previous version. Big squeeze at the top. Unilateral movement. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, bring that right foot back. Hands go long, palms face in, chest flies. Go around that beach ball. Then squeeze it in 16. Out, big squeeze. Squeeze the chest, squeeze the front of the delts. You got it. And those glutes are on fire. Stay with me. You can do this. Here's your last eight, seven, six, five more. You got it. Four, three, two. 
One, bring those weights back to the hip point. Shimmy that right foot towards the center of the mat. 80% in the right heel. Turn the left foot into a kickstand. 20% in the left heel. 16. Up and down. Big squeeze of the glutes. Posterior tilt. Low back is into the mat. No space underneath. Eight more like this. It's eight. Seven. Six. Big squeeze. Here's your last four, three, two. Hold those hips up. Bilateral stance with the feet. Arms go up, palms face together. Chest fly, 16. Out and in. Big hug. Hips are high, you got it. Glutes are on fire. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. Here's your last eight. We have four more and three weights back to the hips. Two, one, bring those weights back. You can always release it. Should be the left foot towards the center. Right foot goes up, eight single leg bridges this time. It's eight, drive. Four more, you got it. Four, three, two. One, right foot down, hands go up. Last set of chest flies for 16. Out and in, out and squeeze. I know those glutes are on fire. We can do it. Here's your last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice work, dumbbells go on the hips, shimmy that right foot towards the center, left leg goes long, single leg bridges for eight, let's go. It's eight, drive through the heel. Here's your last four, three, two, both feet on the ground, bilateral bridge pulses up an inch up an inch. This is it. Then we're done with the glutes and we switch to the abs. We have eight and six. We hold four, three, two. This is it. Big hold, big, big squeeze. Breathe through it. Hips one inch higher. We're holding eight, six, four, three, Release those hips to the ground. Dumbbells go off to the side. Let's stretch out the glutes across the outside of the left ankle, over the right quad, little figure four stretch. After this, we're hitting the abs and then we're done. All right, let's switch sides, figure four stretch. Gentle press into that right inner thigh. All right, let's grab your band. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and roll yourself all the way up. We're placing that band right below the toe. So it's gonna look like this, and we need to press into the band, just like so. So this does nothing, might as well not even have it. This is what is going to challenge us, okay? If you don't have the band, again, don't worry about it, but this is gonna be more challenging, and if you need to get rid of the band, get rid of it. Okay, here we go. So we're pressing into the band. First, let's get the core even more warmed up. So it's inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep this tempo. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we hold it up. Keep that nice neutral pelvis. We're driving the right foot in, then bring it back to center. Left foot in, then bring it back to center. Switch it right and left, right, and left. Keep that cord nice and tight, and we're gonna feel it in the quads as well. In and out, in and out. We have eight, seven, six, and five we hold, four, three, Two, hold the left knee in, right leg goes beside it. Come down to the forearms. Now we're going to press it out, 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 then in. 
alternate one at a time. Keep pressing into the band. So feet are staying about hip distance apart. Little bicycle legs. Out and in. Challenge yourself by hovering the right heel off the ground. Low back is pressing into the mat. Core engaged, four and more. And three, the heels go down. Two, one, heels go down. Keep applying pressure onto the band. Small crunches, up and lower, up and lower. Hollow it out. We have eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two, oh, one reverse crunches, just the legs. In, then tap, in, then tap. Last four, three, two, hold the legs in. Now we kick it out, then in. Press that band away, press it away. Last four, three, two, one, hold here. Extend the legs long, lower down halfway. Now we pull the band in, return to center. It's pull, return to center tempo. In, in, quads and lower abdominals. Keep the TVA activated, draw it up and in. Eight more like this. We have eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, then the heels go down. And two, one, heels down, crunch it up and lower. All right, we're gonna do that again. We crunch to reverse crunches, we push with the legs, and then we'll pull with the legs. Hollow it out right here. We have four more. In three, we hit those reverse crunches. Two, hold the upper body just lower. Up, initiate the movement from the lower abdominals. Last four, three, two, hold the legs. Now we push eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Extend the legs long. Take it halfway down. We pull it in. Pull it in. Deep belly button drawing up and in. No bulging. We have eight, seven, six. Last four. Three, two, oh, one, reverse crunches, hinge at the knees. We have eight just like this. It's in and then we tap. Four more. It's four, three, two, one, hold it in. Arms are going long. We kick the right leg out. As we kick the right leg out, right arm goes up and then we draw it back in. Opposite leg, opposite arm extends. Bring it back to center, dead bugs. Alternate, one at a time as we press. Last eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, and two, we go to bicycles. Two, and last one, bicycles. Continue the press. Now we rotate with the upper body. Kick it, rotate. Kick to rotate. Last eight. Six. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Straighten the legs, legs lift, leg lifts up and down. Control it. Go at your own tempo. Keep pressing into the band. Lower two. Lift for two. 
lower two, lift for two, four more. It's four, and lift, three, and lift, two more. Last two, and lift, last one. Hold bottom, pull it in with the knees. Pull, pull it in. Come on, stay right here, you've got it. It's four, three, two, one. Reverse crunches, shorten your lever. Nice work. After we do eight of these, we're repeating that dead bugs, bicycles, leg lifts, and then we pull up the legs one final time. Here we go. Last two. Hold the legs up. We're kicking. Bring the arms to the sky. We kick the right leg out, left arm reaches, and then we return to center. Let's go. Opposite and alternate. Kick, extend. We have four more. And three, we go directly into bicycles. Let's go. Kick. Pause at the center. Now in a few moments, we're gonna get rid of this pause at the center and we're just gonna wrap it out. But you can always stay right here. Last one, now we pick up the tempo. Can you go right and left? We're progressing so you can always stay with the previous version. I know it's burning, come on, we got this. 16 more. Come on, we have eight, six, five, four, three, two, now hold, leg lift up and down. Two count down, two count up. Two count down, two count up. Two count down, two count up. We have less than 60 seconds and we are done. Stay strong, you got this. I know it's burning, you wanna quit? Because that's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> and But we're not. We know we can do this. We know we can fight through this burn and we're gonna get stronger because of it. Here's our last one. Hold bottom, we're pulling it in, return, return, in. Keep the TVA engaged. Deep belly button up and in, low back pressing into the mat. Here we go, we're gonna pick up the tempo. 16 fast. Here's our last eight and six. We hold four, three, two. Hold it out, press out, press out. A little presses out. Stay with me. It's eight, six, four, three, two, and release. Ooh, nice work. Oh my goodness, I hate myself. If you're wondering, Hug the knees in, give yourself nice circles. Oh, and then let's go the other way with those circles. Hug the knees in towards the armpits, soles of the feet go to the sky, and let's bring into a nice little happy baby, side to side. Oh, nice work. Okay, give yourself a hug in, grab hold the backs of the hamstrings, massage the spine. Whew. My glasses are fogged up. <laughs> I couldn't see if my mic was on. All right, massage that spine. On the next roll, come all the way up, cross at the ankles, hinge forward. You're in a tabletop position. As we inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale, round through the spine. Let's do that once more. Nice, let's extend this right leg long and cross this right foot off and over to the left side. Look over your left shoulder, make a banana shape with the body. Nice little side body stretch. And when you're ready, switch sides. Banana shape with the body. Ooh, that felt good. Don't worry, we're gonna hit those abdominals. So just let's start to walk it forward. Let the chest fall to the ground. Inhale, heart lifts forward. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time, let's go a little bit farther. Inhale, almost straightening the arms. Exhale, bring it down. This time, let's really bring it to our full range motion. Letting the quads rest heavy. On your next inhale, press through the tops of the feet, find space underneath the quads, intensifying the stretch. Release right hip down, look over your left shoulder. Oh, other side. 
Inhale, look forward as we exhale, curl the toes, shoot those hips up and back, little downward facing dog. Pedal up the heels right and left. Let the head hang nice and heavy. On the inhale, drive the chest in towards the quads by pressing the mat away on the exhale. See if the heels will reach one inch closer to the mat. On your next inhale, look up at the hands, walk the feet forward. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Gentle ragdoll, give yourself some yeses and noes. Bring all swing to a complete stop. Bend the knees so much so that you can root to rise, reverse, swan dive it up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand, side bend up and over to the right. Inhale, neutral spine, let's hit that tricep. Hinge at the elbow. Inhale up, and grab a hold of the right wrist, wrist, side bend up and over. Nice work today. Inhale up, let's hit that tricep and then we're done. Inhale up and as we exhale, bring it down. Let's take one more deep inhale together. Inhale up and exhale down. If you'd like more stretching, I have some. Just check out my yoga and stretching playlist. If not, have a wonderful rest of the day. Y'all rock.